Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Tao Tao Yang. I'm the TA of the uh, of the course to uh, the course of information uh, introduction to information retrieval. Today I will give you a lecture about uh, how to inst install and how to use the Galago. Mm. Okay. Uh, first, uh, let's do a recap for inverted index. Uh, actually, inverted index is a data structure that directs you from a word to a document. Uh, for example, we have a word. We have a word abandon, and uh, uh, with the inverted index, we know that uh, abandon appears in document seven and document ten. And uh, in document seven, it's in 15th uh, position. And in document 10, it, it appears in uh, document 10 in seventh and the 22nd uh, position. So the advantage of inverted index is to help you to help you to uh, uh, help you to do fast document uh, uh, locating. Uh, and uh, in order to uh, build the inverted index, we need, to, we need to do tokenization, normalization, stopping, and stemming. And finally, we can build the inverted index. And uh, do you have any question? It's just a recap for the, uh, for the course about uh, inverted index and uh, some processing. Uh, if no question, I will move to the next slide. And uh, I will give example of the tokenization, normalization, stopping, and stemming. For example, we have a sentence according to Wikipedia, uh, blah, blah, blah. And uh, uh, in order to do a tokenization step, we split each word. As you can see, we split each word uh, in a sentence. And uh, when we do normalization, we typically uh, uh, transform from upper class, upper case to lower case. And you can see the A becomes a, 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 a lower case of A here. And then in stopping, in stopping step, we usually uh, uh, remove some frequent words because typically we think the uh, frequent words are uninformative. And finally, we do stemming. In stemming, we usually find the stem of each word. And uh, after all those steps, we can begin to build the inverted index. Do you have any question with this slide? If not, I will move on to the uh, next slide. Okay, now uh, with, with the previous step, you you already um, do some uh, uh, do some st stopping, stemming, and finally you can build the input index by yourself. However, there are a lot, there are uh, many open source uh, search engines that can help you to do do it. For example, the Galago. Galago can do tokenization, normalization, stopping, stemming, and finally build the input index for you with only one command line. And you can also run some basic retrieval model and uh, or, or with command line we'll use some Java code. And uh, here is the uh, is a command line to build the uh, Galago, invert, Galago index. And uh, uh, this is uh, a command line. You need to input the corpus and uh, you need to specify the output folder. And uh, the corpus is, uh, there are many formats of the corpus. And here we use the track format, which is just uh, exactly the whole work, the, uh, the lab one assignment uh, uses. And uh, the tokenizer here, we specify the specific uh, field. We need to do the invert index. And uh, here I, 
provide a repository for you to uh, give, which gives some specific instruction to help you to be more familiar with Galago. Uh, you can visit this, uh, uh, how to say, this uh, repository. First, let me, uh, sorry. Let me copy this to the, Uh, you can visit here, visit uh, the repository here, and uh, and uh, with uh, with previous uh, uh, command line, we can build the invoked index, and with the invoked index, we can extract many uh, statistics, document statistics, which is a uh, uh, which is uh, required in your assignment one. For example, we can find uh, we can we can find out uh, the number of documents in the corpus, and the uh, maximum length, minimal length, and average length. Uh, use uh, use some Java code. Uh, the typical way we uh, we the procedure we do it is typically build a load and uh, fill in some parameters uh, and then put this load into the instance of the retrieval factory and then we can know the some statistics uh, for example this this line gives you the how many documents in the corpus besides the uh, besides the document statistics uh, we can also know some term statistics uh, for example if we, if we are interested in the word apple, we can know um, uh, uh, with, uh, we are interested in the word apple. We, we can know by using Java code, we can know the maximum term count and the number of documents that contain apple and the term frequency of, among all the documents. Uh, the procedure is uh, pretty, pretty similar. We build a load and uh, and fill in some parameters here. The uh, apple will is a query, and uh, put this load into the uh, retrieval factory. And then finally, we can uh, get the statistics of this word, the maximum count, number of document count, and the uh, load frequency. And uh, And uh, we, I also provide some other examples. Uh, for example, find the document of minimal length and uh, number of unique words uh, with less than 10 characters. Uh, those uh, examples are pretty similar to your homework. I think you can make some minor revisions and uh, can finish the homework without too much effort. Um, and and uh, then I will introduce a little bit about the um, I will introduce a little bit about this repository. Do you have any question? Can you guys see the repository? Please give me some feedback. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we can see. Thank you and uh, this is the repository, and uh, what you need to do is to, I will give you some instruction on how to do this repository. Um, let me first introduce how, uh, uh, introduce a little bit about this repository. The tutorial one is some Java code, and uh, the build.json is the parameters to build the invert index and the, com the command dot sh is the script uh, that uh, we all, how to say, we all run the world or the following command uh, with this script. And this one is the track dot toy uh, dot gz is uh, the toy data sets uh, I provide you to play with in order to be familiar with uh, Galago. 
Uh, now, me, now let me introduce a little bit about the, this repository. First, you need to uh, get it. Okay, we got it. And then we, uh, go into it. And you can see already get it. And uh, you can use the command, the script to run word following uh, command, or you can go step by step. Here I also provide the links to download the Galago. And uh, since it takes time to take some time to download, I, uh, I don't download it here. I already downloaded, so I will just copy here. And you can see. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, I had one question. Okay, please. So in this uh, build index step, right? I'm running into an exception when I try to run the SS script, shell script. Pardon? In the building index instruction, right? I'm yeah. running into an exception when I try to run the shell script. Uh, sorry, I can't, I can't hear. I, I'm not very clear about your problem. Yeah, so in the after step number four, right, which is running the shell script. Running the, which one? Yeah, before this, before this. This one? No, no, running the CMD shell script. This one? Yeah, the next instruction, right? Yeah, this, okay. this instruction, I'm getting an exception, null pointer exception. exception. I think there may be some problem with your, uh, maybe you should check the details, I'll take some details in this script. Uh, maybe you have to adapt your Java version. Okay. Like maybe you should, maybe you, uh, maybe you need to compile the Galago from source. Because in this script, I downloaded the Galago, or uh, the binary version maybe is not compatible with your, uh, your working environment. Maybe you need to uh, just tune it. Sure, let me try that. Maybe it's uh, a form. Uh, I, I, I attend, I, many of the students in last semester, they encounter some problem like the Java version didn't uh, a lot compatible with the Galago version. So you might need to uh, change it a little bit to make them compatible, something like that. Sure, I'll try that. Okay. And, uh, and uh, sorry for that, maybe you need to check it by yourself for some environment compatibility. And uh, currently we, uh, I will any other, any other people have some problem here? Some question? Yeah, so I want to know which Java version are we using for this project? Uh, sorry, I'm not. I'm oh, oh, sorry. I mean, uh, which Java version are we using for this project? You said uh, there might be some problems with the Java version. Let me see my version. Sorry, I'm not very, I'm not very, how to say, very. The latest one. This one. You can see 1.8, something like that. Okay. Can see it. Got you. Yeah, I can see. Thanks. Yeah, I got, uh, uh, at least it can work with this version of Java. Yeah. And uh, the Galago is the most, most uh, latest uh, version we download by uh, using this script this script. And uh, currently we already got the, uh, got the Galago and we will unzip it. It'll take some time. And uh, we relink it. And then we can build the inverted index. Uh, you can build, the, uh, there are two options here. The first one is your pass the parameter in a 
JSON file, or you can pass just with the command line. For example, I just copy here and copy here. As you can see, it's running to uh, do the to build the inbox index. It takes some time. Uh, currently, it's uh, toy data sets. Uh, it may only take maybe uh, 20 minutes, uh, 20, 20 seconds. But for your uh, assignment one, it may take maybe 10 minutes or something like that. I, I'm not, I can't remember it, but uh, it may take some time. And uh, now we already built the inverted index. I can show you. Uh, we built the inverted index in the index file. So you can see we already have this. And I can show you what the folder looks like. Can you see? These are the uh, output, output uh, inverted, inverted index folder. It has some lengths, uh, some extents, and some links. And uh, some uh, the inverted index are many um, I would say I'm mainly, you are mainly saved in this one and this one. This one is, uh, I would say, using some uh, stemming. This one didn't use some stemming. You have any question? Okay, I will move on. Currently, we already, currently we already have the uh, inverted index, but how to use the Java code to call the API to get some statistics? Uh, the assignment one uh, asks you for some statistics of the world of the document. So I will show you how to do it. Um, I'm not very, uh, I'm not very, uh, I would say, professional at uh, Java. So I typically use uh, some IDE to help to build the Java code with Glago, Glago. And uh, here I recommend you to use Eclipse, Eclipse. And you, I already, I, uh, I also pro provide the link, download the link here. You can download from this, this, uh, this website. And uh, I will show you how to build the, uh, build the, Java code with the Galago in Eclipse. Here I will um, I will open my Eclipse. I think it's better to use some IDE to build it. Okay, can you see the, uh, the Eclipse? And the first thing we need to do is to build a Java project and uh, give it a link. Oh, yeah. Maybe, um, so, oh, no. Something like this, and uh, and uh, we build it. We are currently we build an MPT um, Java project, and uh, I will show you how to put. Uh, I already give you some demo code in this uh, in the tutorial one folder, and uh, you can paste the tutorial one in the script uh, folder here. I will show you how to do it. This is the repository we get, and this is a tutorial one. We can just uh, copy, copy it, and uh, paste it here. Sorry for the English, uh, for the Chinese uh, link here. And we can put, we can paste it here. As you can see, uh, this is a demo code I show you. I, will, I give you. It have some examples about how to extract the statistics, and uh, we can click it here. 
And you can see this is uh, uh, the, this, those are the examples I give you. You can read them and uh, finish the assignment one without too much effort. However, you can see that here are many errors here. The reason is that we currently don't link the Gallagher library with the current project. We need to link them. So we need to um, link them. You click project properties and uh, Java build plus and the external Java libraries. And uh, in this, uh, we need to uh, find the uh, path we download the Galago and uh, find the library uh, folder. And uh, we put the folder in current uh, uh, build path and apply and uh, close. As you can see, those errors will uh, disappear. Another thing you need to do is to change the change the path to the index folder. We already, um, I would say, we already built the inverse index, uh, and we need to put it back, put put it uh, in the director here. Let me. Um, this is the index file, and I ju will just uh, paste it and uh, copy it here, and then we uh, and then it should run. Okay, as you can see, it told us there are uh, the maximum length. Uh, of the document is, uh, uh, how do you say, 28,000. And the minimum length is just 100, and average length, and the how many document in the corpus. And the first ID, the last document ID, this is the inner ID. And the average length, and uh, uh, because I give you some example about, uh, uh, here I give you the example about uh, uh, ex about extracting document statistics, uh, it will return you the maximum length, minimal length, average length document count. Uh, and I also give you some uh, give you some example about a term statistics. Uh, I still use the use the uh, example of uh, the word apple. We need to find uh, the maximum count of apple in a certain document and the load frequency and the load count of Apple in the, in the corpus. And uh, the, well, I also provide some additional, some, uh, two additional examples. The first one is to find the uh, ID or find the ID of the document with minimal document length. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, example, it might be hard uh, uh, compared with previous two examples. In this example, we need to iterate uh, all the documents. Uh, you can see we build a way, instantiate a uh, iterator. This iterator will iterate all the documents. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and we find the, the one with minimal length. And another example is to find the unique words with the length less than 10. And uh, for this example, we also need to iterate, uh, uh, how to say, iterate a document. Now, there are many ways to iterate a document. In this example, we not only to need to iterate the document, we also need to iterate the, uh, the, uh, every word in, the, in a certain document. To, uh, to find the uh, word with less than 10, with length less than 10, and it's unique. And uh, I think you can, how to say, you can uh, adapt those examples and uh, finish the lab one, the assignment one without too much effort. Uh, please uh, read, read, detail, read those uh, examples in detail. I think uh, my tutorial uh, uh, will finish here. Do you have some questions?
Hi. Do you have do you have some feedback or anything I can do? And I will upload this. Uh, and I will upload this uh, uh, this recording later. Uh, and uh, I think you can refer refer to it uh, when you try to finish your another one assignment. And uh, if you don't have uh, additional question, you can you are free to leave this room, and I will wait here for if you have any question. I I can I see there is another Java file. So what's that? Another Java file. Which one? Uh, in the tutorial one folder. Yeah. Okay, this one. This uh -huh. one is uh, uh, some. I I can I can open it. There's some something that needed to build the Java because I'm not a professional Java, so maybe how to say I'm not very familiar with Java, so I think this is needed. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, because I know I'm but okay. It's kind of an empty file. You need to uh, you need to lead it uh, and to build the whole thing. Oh, okay. Because I'm not very sorry for sorry, I can't give you a specific uh, answer. Okay, thank you. And uh, do you, uh, do any one of you have additional question? Um. The question not uh, just related to the, this tutorial. You can ask me question about the assignment, and I think I will finish the recording and uh, and uh, upload the recording later.